Now, if you're planning to head off on holiday this year, don't do anything until you've listened to Martin's advice. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. We're starting off the most important thing, passports, when you're yeah. travelling. Well, passports tend to last 10 years, but you need to check when yours is out of date. And if it's less than six months, there are many countries that won't let you in. I actually bumped into somebody in the queue recently who was on their way back. I won't mention the country, but their child's passport had two months left on it and they'd been told you can all come in, but your child, who was about five or six, wow. can't. So they all had to fly back, sort it out and then go again. So check your passports now. And kids are you, much than they did last. Is there how many years? Five, five years, years, the first yeah. one, last five years, if they're, if they're younger. So check when it dates and if it's less than six months you need to start sorting out renewing it before you go away or you may be turned back check individual countries rules there's also the ehic card the european health insurance card now that gives you treatment at the same cost of a local in an eu state-run hospital so if they pay you that you pay if they get it free you get it free but this is the thing people don't know that they date 5.3 million of those cards that people have right now are out of date and therefore not valid. It's totally free to renew. It's point number nine on your EHIC card, which gives you the valid date. Check yours now. Let us know, because there's loads of you are gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Check your kids as well, because you need one each, same as passports. And if it is with EHIC, you renew on the NHS website. Do not Google, do not search it, because there are companies who will charge you an admin fee that does you nothing don't need for to you. Be doing that. Never, ever, ever pay for an EHIC. Now, a lot of people card. would have looked, perhaps, yeah. at the EHIC and seen the expiry date and thought, well, there's no point uh, renewing this because of Brexit. Look, we don't know what's going to happen with EHIC. There are a number of countries that aren't in the EU that are part of the EHIC scheme, and it'll be one of those things that is being negotiated. It's still valid now. You may as well get the protection now. I would absolutely renew now and not let Brexit worry about this. We'll know about that in a year or two. <laughs>